Ladies, come on. Kalau sih itu situ ada, emang kan optional on very dam nih. Makasih banyak. Thank you. Have you seen very many puff outers out here? Puff outers? No, we 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 haven't got puff outers to say. Only worms lah. Kekar berada mostly. Scarps dia ker. Only that. Okay. So. No puff outers here. I don't think I've seen anything except the cobra here. Does, that would be the only poisonous one then? Do you have boom song or any of those? Yeah. So this first stop is at the hut? Yeah. Okay. And do you have a GPS unit in here? I, I know the GPS coordinates of the other population. Okay. Okay, so this is the hut. Yeah, so um, the Harveyas look are actually related, but they're not what I'm looking for this time. So the ones I'm looking for are bright red at this site. Um, and I have seen them here before, so it's just going to, I just have to walk around a bit. So this is a, this is Harveya squamosa. It's uh, related to the Hyabanki, but that's, that's not what I'm looking for right there. Anyway, this site has at least a nice population. I should find this just by walking around here. Okay, I just found uh, the first of these high bankies that are here on the coast. This is not the sand dune form, this is just a west coast form. And if I pan over here, we're right on the first dune and there's Table Mountain though in the background. So it's actually hiding underneath some chrysanthemoides. Nice, nice big clump of it here. This one tends to specialize on chrysanthemoides. Yeah, so that's that's the one form. This is Hyabanki sanguinea, uh, the west coast form. The other one that we're going to uh, look for on the sand dunes itself, you know, the, the free sand over on Metalasia. Uh, it's over that way somewhere. Um, but that's a pink one that has a taller inflorescence. So this is the this is the different species. So. It's going to be on the chrysanthemoides that this this yes. is its host right here. So that's it's that's what we're going to be looking for, and I'm going to dig this one up. But if you um, if you want to take a look around while I'm digging this one out, because okay. um, I wouldn't mind getting a couple more uh, samples. From yeah, from from that species. Yeah. So you're going to have to just look for for this plant here. That's Peter. He's the, the guy who works here that's driving me around the reserve today. Can't take a regular car here because it's too too hard to get around. Anyway, this site is called the Hut. And uh, it's a beautiful spot on the coast. You can see whales out here sometimes. Seen dolphins out here. Seen snakes. <laughs> but it's a, it's a really beautiful spot to come. 
and it has a little picnic area here. That little structure down there is what gives it its name, the hut. Anyway, so let me hand down here and get a closer look at this nice Hyabanki. That's a uh, Hyabanki sanguinea. Common name of this plant is cat claw. And it's because the stigmas stick out like little claws of a, cl of a cat. It's got a lot of dew on it right now. Just kind of tucked away in here with a euphorbia and then this chrysanthemoides, which I believe is the host. But I'm going to go ahead and ex excavate that whole clump and try to collect as much root tissue as I can. Okay, that is what I'm looking for. Nice big clump of root tissue that I can actually extract good DNA from. That's a, that's a good one. That millipede keeps coming over here to check out my flowers and it's really make, giving me the heebie-jeebies. Okay, so here's another couple little plants. It's probably the same individual. I'm just going to excavate this one. It looks like it's right next to the chrysanthemoides. Um, it's kind of hard to get the root attachments here, so I'm going to try to maybe dig this one out a little bit bigger. Okay, that's, that's the mother load right there. That's what I'm looking for. Nice, big, fat host root. Get lots of DNA from that. Be able to identify that with no problem whatsoever. So this is uh, attached to probably the little sibling for that one, which looks like it's on Metalasia, but there's lots of other things growing here too. There's some Euphorbia. So it'll be interesting to see if this is Metalasia, uh, I'm sorry, Chrysanthemoides or uh, this Euphorbia here. So there's this one, that's the Chrysanthemoides. I'm not quite sure what this one is here. And then that's the Euphorbia. Okay, I excavated quite a hole down here and uh, really had really good sampling for root tissue. I had to dig all the way down, I'm probably about uh, maybe two feet down, and I'm still pulling out high banky rhizomes, and uh, the farther down I go, the more root attachments there are. Really very robust, and when I'm done here, I'll just dump them all back in the hole. I'm sure they'll be fine. Probably be a bigger population here in the future. Here's some of the leavings. That one had a lot of branches coming off of it. You can see all the different nodes that are coming off that rhizome. Each of those probably would be leading to a flowering stalk. And then just a bunch of biomass underground. I bet if you just took a backhoe in here and dug up a, a transect that was 10 feet deep, you'd just be amazed at how much material is there. And all you see above ground is the little inflorescence. So, quite a robust plant, quite amazing. Here's a pan of the, the habitat where we are. It's a sand dune that's covered with sand felt. Euphorbia, things in the Asteraceae, uh, lots of little uh, flowering plants, things in the uh, Mesembranthamaceae. Can't say it very well. Anyway, right here on this front dune, and pan over here you see coastline, and then Table Mountain there in the background. Gorgeous, we're up here on the, uh, maybe about a 50 minute drive from Cape Town, on the west coast. Okay, so done sampling the root tissue here. It's a really good side actually and uh, I don't know if you can see all the way down there but that's Kuberg that's the power plant the nuclear power plant and this whole reserve is basically a buffer zone for the, the power plant so that people don't build houses here and if there's ever a disaster there's a buffer but they've done quite a good job of managing this for conservation for strand felt and coastal fainbows really impressive place and the people here really care about the environment, care about preserving biodiversity and bringing the message to the people of South Africa about how beautiful this place is and how unique the flora is. And I think a 
keep looking for some more high bankies just to sample um, some tissue from, but um, pretty much done with the root sampling. So there we go.